Hello, I'm Cameron Dersham. Uh, you can find me on the internet at pinkhatbeard.com. That's pinkhatbeard.com. I'm also known in the Rust community now as the man of two scarfs as of this morning. I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to bring that one back. Um, back, apparently. So I'm a software developer uh, who a couple years ago, a year and a half ago, um, started a hardware company with a couple of friends. And uh, that was a really, really good idea um, because I don't know anything in C or systems level things. Uh, we wrote everything in Python because that makes sense. And um, eventually we figured out something which was uh, that Python might not be the answer for everything. <laughs> and so I decided I was going to learn a real, a real programming language, none of the scripting stuff, and I was going to learn C. And I went and found a book that everyone recommended for C and um, <clears throat> I found Rust. And, um, <laughs> Um, so I've been doing Rust for a little bit, and I have yet to actually write anything that m means uh, anything, really, except for a little bit of hardware stuff, uh, because I don't like to do anything the easy way. I decide that, hey, I will um, try to write hardware stuff with Rust before I've actually written like a website or anything with Rust. Um, I, I make a lot of decisions that are great like that. So there is a gentleman, or a, a person, I don't, I don't know, anything about them other than their GitHub handle, um, who's written a book recently called uh, Discovery. It is all about making this thing work, which this is a STM32F3 discovery board. It's got, it's a dev board. It costs $15 if you order it from China and take a month to get it, or it's like $30 if you order off Amazon to get it in a week. Um, but so what's cool about this is this is Rust running on bare metal. So it is running bare metal. It's blinking some LEDs, which is not that cool until you find out that it's doing that asynchronously. So if I type some words here, and then I type them incorrectly, we will reset it so that we can type them correctly. Um, you will see that this should start blinking the opposite direction, and there was no delay there, which means it's happening asynchronously. It's beautiful. So. The reason I'm giving this talk is because yesterday I said I was interested in, what, oh, did it fall? Eh, whatever. It's, it's $15, right? So uh, the reason I'm giving this talk is because yesterday I mentioned I was into embedded things and people started coming up to me asking me questions as if I were some type of authority in Rust and in embedded things. And so I decided I would do a lightning talk about how I don't know anything about Rust and embedded. Um, because I think that that's probably the same as everyone else in the world with Rust and embedded stuff. Um, it's being kind of made up as we go. Um, there are actually, so to answer a couple questions I kept getting, uh, there is uh, at least two projects that are operating system, uh, real-time operating systems in Rust. Uh, one of them is made by the same guy who did this. You can see the GitHub handle here. I will try to make that bigger. Um, so you can find this book also. Um, so he has one, uh, RTOS called RTFM, as in real time for the masses, not as in the other meanings. Um, and so that's one operating system. There's also another operating system called TOC OS um, that's being worked on. Uh, but there's also a lot of work working on just getting bare metal. Um, and there is someone here uh, who is working on AVR support, um, which is so you can compile stuff and get it on an Arduino. Um, but like I said, I have no idea how any of that works. And so I would really like is if someone wanted to help maybe mentor me. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Um, and maybe we could do a couple of things for embedded in the impl period, because there's currently, as far as I can tell, no working group for any embedded things. And we could make some magic happen there. Um, mainly, I really want to write an LLVM backend to get Extensa support, uh, which would mean that you could use a $3 chip to do amazingness, um, because Cheaper is better than $15. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Uh, like I said, you can find me, pinkhatbeard.com, and yeah, that's me.